dog training, how to play with a puppy properly. Puppies often play with toys unwillingly. They want to communicate with people. Most of all, puppies like to play with other puppies or with people. Ah! Go away! Leave me! Leave me! Go away! Playing with the puppy properly will develop motivation and other skills useful for training and learning. Proper games are based on the puppy's instincts. Regular playing develops them. First of all, the toy should run away from the puppy. That should take the toy as something living and covered. If the puppy is interested in chasing the toy, you should miss the mark. If the puppy doesn't catch the toy frequently, it loses interest to the game. Before the puppy denies to play, let it catch the toy. In this case, the puppy stopped chasing the piece of cloth. The pet decided to stop and catch the rat before it moved towards it. The same strategy the puppy decided to apply in the following game episode. Logical, but this trait is not what we need to develop. Give it. Give it. In order that the dog might actively chase the rag, you should increase the number of misses gradually and have much space to play. Such game develops motivation and persistence while chasing the toy. If the puppy catches the racket once, it gets bored. If the pet cannot catch it for a long time, it doesn't believe in itself. It is necessary to change toys. The interest to the game shouldn't depend on the specific object. Yes, good boy. Well done. Good boy. Apart from chasing the prey, the puppy should experience playing tug of war and struggle to get the toy. The whole series includes chasing the prey, seizure, struggle, and finishes in the puppy's victory. It takes away the toy and brings it home. When playing with a tug toy, do not pull it a lot, that the puppy cannot struggle actively but just hold the toy in its mouth. Struggle for the toy should proceed with varying success and finish in the puppy's victory. As soon as the pet takes away the toy, snatch it and resume the struggle again. To complicate the task, touch the puppy to distract it.
Good boy. Do not try to leave to pick heavy puppies. The main thing is that the puppy should struggle for the toy. If the puppy isn't ready to hang on the toy and the trainer tries to lift the pet, this will ruin all the process of playing and teaching. Struggle for the toy should alternate with jogging on a leash. A letter is necessary to control the puppy as well as make it get used to play being on the leash. Come on, let's go. Apart from the struggle and jogging, it is necessary to make a pause when the puppy is standing still and holding the toy in its mouth. Now focus on its snout. Do not make long pauses that provoke the puppy to spit out the toy. You should resume the game in time. Okay, turn the camera off. Basic game elements are chasing the toy, struggling, and bringing it home. Professional dog training school walk service. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for free. And click like.